Alright, and we are set. I must assume. I guess. Alright. Alright, that's better. Hello, guys. So, I guess, uh, welcome to another video. Uh, another talking video, but it's just that I'm in my room, not in uh, my other room. So, so today, I want to discuss about what should you do when your friends and or your girlfriends are having a cosplay event due to this week. So, based on real, uh, real notice, there will be a cosplay event in Malaysia here, uh, Top End shopping mall in Johor, Johor Bahru, uh, June 1st and, uh, wait, no, June 1st, May 3rd to June 2nd, so there will be a cosplay event, so, here's what you should guys to, uh, do when your friend or your girlfriends are having a, uh, cosplay event, like, anyway, cosplay, because, like, okay, I'm not trying to arrest you guys, me, uh, as a Milsim fan, if you guys don't know what Milsim is, Milsim is a military kind of uh, stuff and stuff. I love military and stuff, and I have a girlfriend who likes. Anyways, and this is just what I think what you, you should guys do. If you guys are like me, who, I mean, I do like cosplays, but I don't like... I wouldn't say I don't like anime cosplays. They are cool. Anime cosplays are cool, but however, to me, they are not my, not my interest. So, so yeah, I'm just gonna let my girlfriend do those stuff because, like I said, I'm not really into anime cosplays. I mean, they are cool, but I don't really like them. So, so this is what you you should guys do. So, anime cosplay is much much worse than gaming cosplays like Call of Duty or mil like actual military cosplay like Milsim uh, anti-terrorist and uh, military kind of outfits anime you see other people cosplaying as your favorite anime character you would go crazy so here's what you guys do so if you if your girlfriend is going to the cosplay event and she is the one cosplaying, I recommend you guys to do an overwatch. What I mean by overwatch is go to the second floor and look over your girlfriend. Make sure she doesn't do anything, uh, make sure no one does anything stupid to your, uh, to your girlfriend. So you won't get jealous and then if anything does, uh, does like harassment or something that makes you jealous is if the jealous stuff uh, just that it's light it depends how it offends you but if you if the je je jealousy reach your limit then yeah okay you can go defend her and back everyone else off the, uh, from her and her surroundings well like I, like, like, like I mentioned, <laughs> anime cosplay is crazier than military cosplays because no one actually likes military. Like, seriously. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, people like military, but military outfits are expensive than anime. Anime, you can buy it from anime. You could even create your own. But military stuff, you can't. Unless you make them from cardboards or some kind of cheap materials, plastics and stuff, you can't get more accurate than the military's uh, equipment, but you can at least kind of get the similarity and the ideas of military equipment. And so, like I said, there's a huge difference between anime and military. So. Let's uh, let's spread the difference. Anime is uh, Japan is I would say a Japanese cartoon, but I'm, I'm not trying to offend you guys. Those who love animes like otaku's or veeps or whatever you are, I know you guys are like a diehard anime fan. So 
I'm not trying to offend you guys, but this is from what I know for because I've been liking anime before, like Darling and the Friends, Sword Art Online. Uh, there's so many more. I, I can't name them. Gate, yeah, my favorite gate. Even obsolete, yeah, hell yeah, my favorite. Also, uh, some uh, m- my interest is not as bad as yours because you guys like adventures, romance. Romance, especially romance anime, and also like kind of fighting animes, so it's pretty understandable. I mean, I have my gun over there. It's not actually a real gun. I don't have a license, gun license. I wish I do, uh, but I need to get the actual permission from the chief of police in this state, Johor. So. It'd be great if I actually own the uh, own the gun license. I mean, I don't intend to kill someone or hurt someone, but how cool is that? I mean, gun license, just show him off your gun. Even though if it's a BB gun, BB gun is already cool enough. Then, rather being even cooler, owning a real gun, showing off. So, back to the main topic. What should you guys do when your girlfriend or your friends is having a cosplay party in the middle of the shopping mall? First recommendation, keep an eye on your friends or your girlfriends. Uh, provide overwatch, make sure they got protection and make sure nothing ever harms them, nothing ever harass them. And if you feel that jealousy because other people make like this kind of love this you know this like it is your girlfriend and then this like like the diehard anime fan uh trying to get the cop oh fuck me oh shit my cousin is ah shit me no no exit my cousin is exposed anyways so third recommendation I suggest to, I mean, you can also not do an overwatch, but just keep on close, uh, uh, like sneak up onto them, so they won't know where you are, and just just be as sneaky as possible. Be stealthy. Use all the tech, uh, technical you can use, and yeah. Or any any function that works though to keep your partner safe and also nothing that ruins your jealousy because especially if you're in a relationship like me so uh, it, it's it's a worst thing <laughs> it, it's especially such situation because you're having a good day and then your partner is not having a good day because you are having more fun than your own partner seeing your like your partner seeing you having more fun than him or her because you get to like taking picture with the diehard anime fans and like seeing their favorite character being cosplayers and then they just want to take pictures so yeah also especially female characters <laughs> ah, if not female then males because Males are the most like anime anime males though, let's say anime males. I'm speaking fucks here, but anime males is the most attractive in anime. Like I mean there are so many anime fans, uh, uh female anime fans who like like especially a currently trending uh anime character, Gojo. Gojo, uh, if you guys don't know, uh, if you guys are not familiar, Gojo is a white hair guy, tall, slim, I don't know uh, how high he is. He's uh, kind of a slim guy, and then he's like kind of sparkling guys when he, when he ever take off his uh, spectacles. I mean, I know the comments going to say I am jealous, but I seriously don't know who he is, but all I know is his appearance. He's, he's white, he's like albino and stuff. Look, his hair is a little bit bluish, bluish white. So that, that, that's all I can say. And uh, yeah. However, there are also more things you can do to ensure your partner's safety and also to ensure yourself doesn't 
get to get too jealous of his e stuff because like I said cosplay is something we always wanted to do like never we see our favorite character in anime in tv shows in cartoon in video games like my favorite character alex keller from call of duty modern warfare trilogy and uh, yeah he's like the guy who has a prosthetic leg on his right uh, on his right leg and he's a pretty cool guy i love alex keller Hey, Chad Michael Collins. <laughs> Call of Duty, man. Hey, Escape from Tarkov. Oh, Escape from Tarkov. Yes. Bear and Yusek. Uh, Yusek, United Security. Bear, Russian PMC. Escape from Tarkov. No one, uh, no one survive or you die or if you leave, if you leave, if you get to leave, if you get the loot. If you don't, you lose everything. Oh, hell yeah. Back to anime. What should you guys do to ensure your partner's safety during anime uh, cosplay event? Take some pictures also. Just pretend you're one of the cosplayers also. Like you don't have to be exactly that character, but I know if you don't get the exact details to. Uh, character that you uh you you want to cosplay as of course you're not you're not gonna get many fans because obviously what fans likes is the most detailed and the most exact look from the anime and to the cosplayers themselves so it's okay if you don't get much fame because like i said as a person who doesn't interest much in animes because me and my girlfriend have separate ways so she might she could even dislike me could even broke up with me like i said everything is possible like i said uh anime is like die hard show like it's like a rival between k-pop and anime i was just k-pop but k-drama let, let's say so anime has been dominating all around the world uh i mean video some anime video games does too but not as popular as the show manga or anime adaptation like series and stuff so it's understandable and also kind of yeah i think you know what i mean anime is crazy like i said like I said, I've I've been experienced this before. I did watch some animes back in 2018, 2019, 2020. That's where I discovered anime and it was good. Some anime can be depression, some anime can be good, some anime can be happy, some anime can be even worse like Net Horror. <laughs> I don't recommend you guys watch Net Horror NTR. The worst feeling you could kill yourself watching this, or even like betray your cheating relationship, cheating marriage. You could kill yourself watching this. Don't do it. Don't watch it, and don't ever suggest other people to uh, to do that because, yeah, depression you kind of fucks us up. So, I think that's it for the video. I guess. Uh. Okay, so that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.